card tricks the other day and I wanted to share them with you. These are just simple mathematical tricks. Um, I really like these type of tricks because you don't have to be a magician and there's no special setup involved or sleight of hand. They're just very easy tricks you can share with your family and friends and they're a lot of fun. This first trick is called Will the Cards Match? And um, what you're going to do is select any five cards and um, once you get your five cards you're going to um, take a pair of scissors and cut these cards right in half. And, uh, if you don't have any scissors you can uh, just rip the cards right in two. And I know it seems kind of silly to destroy perfectly good cards but um, if you have a old deck of cards that have just been laying around for a while and you know you're not going to use them anymore. Those would be perfect for this trick. Um, that way instead of throwing them away you can uh, actually do some tricks with them. I already have my um, five cards cut in half and um, this trick works really good with uh, a group of spectators. Um, uh, it just has a great effect so what you're going to do is display all of your cards so your um, group of people can see that you do in fact have five cards and they are cut into two pieces So what I'm going to do is I'll um, perform the trick first and um, then I'll tell you how it's done afterwards. So you pick up half of your cards and then you pick up the other half and um, you're ready to start the trick. This is why it's um, fun to do with a group of people because your spectators are actually going to choose um, which pile you use um, and you're going to spell out the words well the cards match. For example, let's say your uh, spectators pick this pile so you just spell out the word will. W-I-L-L. -L. And then you can, uh, you know, snap your finger or um, do the, the magic wave or um, whatever type of effect you want to use. And then you just turn your cards over and they match. And then, uh, so let's say your spectators choose this pile for the second word, which is the spell it out. T-H-E. And uh, you do your magic wave and they match. Now by this time your um, crowd is getting really excited and uh, they want to try and mix you up by alternating back and forth. And that's, that's fine too. You just spell out the word cards. C magic. See, they match every time. And then the, uh, the last word is match. M A T C H. And, uh, of course, these last two are going to match. And, um, that's a really neat trick. It's, um, kind of weird how it works. Um, the uh, spectators can use any combination.
combination they want and um, they'll match every time. Now, how this trick works is um, you have to pick the cards up in a certain way when you start the trick. So when you pick up your first half of the cards, you want to pick them up and uh, leave them face up That's all you have to do. And then set them down on your table. Now the second half that you pick up, this is the whole trick. You have to pick them up and turn them upside down in your hand. And that's all you have to do. If you can remember that one um, simple technique, this trick will work every time. And then it doesn't matter which combination they use, um, you'll get a match every time. So, let's spell out the words Will. W-I-L-L. And uh, let's alternate this one. nice and even. That way the spectator knows their card is lost in the uh, deck. And what we're going to do is make four separate piles of cards. This might take a few seconds, so um, since this is an ASMR video, I'm sure you won't mind just uh, Sit back and relax and enjoy the sounds. I hope you're nice and relaxed by now.
once you have your four piles made, we're going to pick up each pile and have the spectator look for their card. Now remember, we're looking for the Ace of Hearts. We're not supposed to know that, but for the sake of this uh, video, Okay, so there's the Ace of Hearts. So the spectator will say, Okay, I see my card. It's in that pile. So we take the other cards and just set them off to the side. Now the only thing you have to know for this trick is that the spectator's card is the seventh card down from the top. So you can just uh, kind of nonchalantly um, flip through the cards, tell them that the, um, you know, um, telepathic powers are talking to you or uh, something like that, but um, you just kind of flip off the top six cards, and then when you get to the seventh one, that's their card. So it's a pretty simple trick, but... Um, the spectators will be amazed. Um, so like I said, if you can just remember that it's the seventh card down, that's all you need to know. Um, so let me show you how this trick works. There's one thing that you have to do to make this trick work. Um, let's just say... The spectator picks the ace of spades. The one thing that you have to know to make this trick work is when you initially cut the cards into two piles, you want to get these piles perfectly in half. That's the one thing that you need to do for this trick to work. Um, it might be a little difficult at first, but uh, with a little bit of practice, you can cut the cards in two, and if it's not um, perfectly half and half, if you're like maybe one card off, that'll be fine, but you want to get it as close to half as you can, and uh, that's all you need to do in the card will, the uh, trick will work. Then when they put this card back, you just mix it in, square up the deck, Make your four piles. for